What is up everybody it is the first ever preseason for the St. Louis Battlehawks as we take on the Tennessee Titans and we are going to return this from the end zone. We do not feel fast at all as we at least get it to the 25. But let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, starting lineup for both sides. Chad Wolford, our starters for game one and game four, more likely going to play the, the uh, first half, probably not game four, uh, but definitely here in game one. And when we send the next two uh, weeks two and week three against the uh, Chargers and the Ravens, we are going to have some uh, training. And we'll probably do a couple more of the churning ones we did in the intro and a little bit more challenging ones as I'm just skimming through the roster. We've already been through our roster. We know who the starters are and who's not. But yeah. I think it's going to be a challenging year as we have Darren McKenzie as the top safety. McKenzie... That must take him out of this lineup here. Well, he would be a 53. So, I guess McKenzie could be the top safe, free safety for us this year. That's fine. Let's go through this uh, Tennessee lineup. Chris Hope. Is that Young? Okay, that's Calvin Lowry. Michael Griffin entering his second year. Portland Finnegan, Bullock, Ryan Funk, Flower, Thornton, Albert Hainsworth, Vanderbot, Vandern, Bosch. I think I remember him. It's hard to remember a couple of these guys back in the day. <laughs> Did Tennessee still have Vince Young back then? I want to say yes. Justin Gage. Oh boy. <laughs> A young CJ2K. I'm not excited for him to face our backups in the second half. And the answer to that would be a yes. A young Vince Young. A young CJ2K. This is going to be a rough... Uh, Preseason. But the Battle Hawks preseason begins on the road. Wolford looking, scrambling. Wolford sat. Good coverage by Tennessee. Second and 12. This is a sold out stadium for a preseason game. Warfer looks. It is caught. And it's a first down. That is Parrish. Shelton's gonna motion. Franklin's gonna get the carry. Franklin gets to the outside. Franklin gets eight. Adjustment being made by Warford. Throws incomplete for Parrish. Uh oh, timeout. Hopefully, no injuries are taking place already. I think I saw a injured Battlehawk. Third down at two. 
Franklin gets the carry at the middle first down. Battlehawk. Warford Blitz comes. He just gets rid of it. That's a fumble, they call it. And it's Tennessee ball. He got absolutely smoked on the play. My oh my. I'm not excited for this defense to take the field. I'm telling you right now. We just have no speed defensively. And Vince Young gets to throw and oh should have been hit. Somehow it wasn't. Second ten. Young hands off whites and he'll drive forward for a solid gain sets up third down and four for Tennessee. Young, he's gonna run for the first down and he's got plenty more. Also, if you want all the rules I have to follow for this cupcake franchise, they will be in every single description of every single video. Young Blitz comes, caught, crumpler first down. And Tennessee gets into the red zone. Vic asking the crowd to quiet down. Vic, Vic Young. All motion. It's a run. White. And still going. Gain of six. Second down and four. Young hands off whites and powers his way for the first down. Six yards out from scoring is Tennessee. Young and I'm not sure what happened there. But we're taking. Also, before it gets asked, it's going to be on all pro. And I can always adjust sliders if need be, but I don't think I'm going to need to here in year one. Second goal on the six. Tall motions. White carries. No, it's a play action. And almost tips in the end zone. Red zone defense. Looking good. Third and goal. CJ2K has checked into the game. It does not go to him. Young slides down after two. He probably could have found the end zone. He definitely had the speed.
Four yards needed for Tennessee. I thought they were going to go for it there. Looked like they were. At least with the play they called. And it is indeed a field goal, so they take a 3 0 lead. I guess I got duped. But better be safe than sorry. So we're only down three, which is not bad. I feel like the defense did good. And another solid return to the 28. But what we've learned is we really should not hold on to the ball long. And Franklin's going to get smoked in the backfield for a loss of two. Tennessee was just ready for that one. We've got to try to find the ball to the side end of Brown. He's probably going to be our best target. Let's see if we can't find him here. He's got it, and he does get the first down. Brown it. Look for the brownie. Franklin carries again. Gets smacked by Hainsworth, I want to believe. Second nine. And wow, what a catch! Number seven, throws complete. That is hard. Haley. For some reason, I thought his name was Hart. A nice throw by Wolford, a better catch. That was on Cortland Finnegan, by the way. Run again, Franklin, nowhere to go. Franklin's going to be a good running back, but I just don't think we're going to be able to give him many run lanes. I think he's going to really have to get better in practice. Wolford lets it fly! It's caught! That's our number one wide receiver right there, Clarence. I believe his first name was Clarence, right? I feel like I'm getting these names wrong somehow. Yep. And this is Parrish. That threw that's clearance again. Red zone for the Battle Hawks. Franklin, he scores! Touchdown, Battle Hawks! On a first team defense, Franklin score. Now we don't really know how good our kicker or our punter is either. But they can get out home a field goal. We'll take it. We will take it. Well, this is going to be a really good return. Oh boy! To the 42 of their own. That was not good uh, defense. Their special team kickoff by us. Vince Young comes out with a shotgun. Right 
Young hands off White. White, he is gonna get eight. They spread us out. That's one thing we cannot allow to happen. We can't get spread out. We just don't have the speed. Young. He is incomplete. Held on to it. He wanted the screen. Third and two. We're playing solid defense so far. Young trying to quiet the crowd here on third down and two. Young hands off. No, it's a play action. And now it's out the white. No one was covering right that time. First down and more. And the St. Louis territory. White was wide open underneath. Tennessee really likes these play actions. Adjustments being made. We gotta adjust too. And Young. Okay. I think that was to the fullback and the fullback just knocked it down himself. Second ten. Young hands off white runs through one, but he does not get more than three. Thankfully, fifty-seven got blasted. Now this is the scary part. Third down and longs when they have to spread you out pretty much. Young, pass is batted down. And clearance is going to be a punt returner. Well, we won't have a shot here. So what a first quarter for the Battlehawks against a not a bad offense or a bad defense of Tennessee. And Franklin gets through one, but he will not get more than a yard. And that's how this first quarter is going to come to an end. Like I said, our starters are more likely going to play this entire first half in this game because I want to get used to them. And then I guess we're just going to have to find out how we hang on in the second half. So end of one, our Battle Hawks, even though it's preseason, they win a quarter. That's a win. I will take the little things. So let's make sure, because I believe, okay, dude, then the starters play their entire first half back in the day. I cannot remember if the starters played the entire first half back in the day. I, I guess so. So it's second and nine. I hate for the Tennessee starters to stay in. And, oh. 
I swear I picked the pass play. Did I not pick a pass play? Well, that sucks. So now it's third and 14. I thought I picked the pass play there. Not the way it hit. Tip drill. Red zone for the Titans. I don't expect us to win too many of the third down and longs. Disaster start to the second quarter. I guess when I watch this back, White carries, stays on his feet, and then gets out at the four. That just means we're going to get, like, absolutely exposed by CJ2K in the second half, I feel. I'd rather him play our first team than our second team. feel like we somehow would have a fair shot. Not the best, but a little bit better. White carries, and that's down at the one. I mean, you should have the strength advantage here. You're on your own one. Give it to White again. I just hope we don't have to face painting in year one. Young is incomplete. Thankfully. And Tennessee is going to set up for another field goal. They can't score on us. We have the best defense in the entire league. Some way, somehow. Vince Young is a real MVP. He's not trying to beat down a young team in preseason. He knows what it takes. Uh-oh. Solid return to the uh, 23rd. I wouldn't mind us running more out of the shotgun. I definitely think we need to get used to that. Because we got some real uh, solid pass rushers in the division. That's caught Harley. And he gets a nice gain. Second down is four. Can Franklin catch out of the backfield? I feel like it's going to be a no. He gets it. He's got no blockers, though, out there, and he loses two. Third down at six. Oh, uh, Warford sad. I tried to step up. Why are you calling? Oh, and Warford is hurt. Warford got hurt. And Carr up past midfield. We might have to draft a kicker or a punter in year one. Cause, uh, or at least a punter. Definitely not in round three. But it's gonna be a long year. First and ten. White Carey is dancing and gets only four.
This is going to be a test of how good we're going to be. you got to be able to play four quarters. Young, hands off, white, first down and more. Oh boy. That was just a huge gash. A five year old go ran through that. Tennessee, I feel like they're tired of trying to play the pass game. They just want to play the run game. And now Young throws, it's caught, and what a tackle. And another injury, oh boy. The last thing I wanted to see was injuries, and we are getting pretty banged up in this first half. And I did check free agency, there's not that many low rates free agents. Under 60, and that's exactly kind of what we need. White somehow won't get the first down. Third and inches at the St. Louis 17. It's been one all run and one pass. White gets it again, and he will get the first down. That little starter step eight was able to create a lane, and he got it. This is kind of why I expect a lot of teams to do against us. It's just pound the rock. Not that they can't beat us with the wide receiver core. But I expect a lot of this as White bounces it to the outside and White's gonna score. Maybe not. There is a flag. And it's gonna take it away. It would have been Tennessee's first touchdown in the preseason. But now it's first and twelve. White, opposite side, White, he is got it again. This time, no flags. Tennessee finally finds the end zone. Our only hope is, is Wolford okay? Because if he's not, it's gonna be it's gonna be hard to persuade him somehow. And 22 is definitely giving us a better return this time to the 26, McKenzie. Wolford is okay. He's back in the game. Down six. To hand off to Franklin. He is gonna get a first down. We can pound the rock too. I'm not sure what had Wolford shaken up. Franklin gets the carry, and Franklin gets another solid chunk of four. Really impressed with the run blocking. Pressure, not down. Third 
third down and six. Clarence in motion. Ball goes to him. He's got the first down. And uh, Franklin tries to bully his way forward. They did try to rip the out. He only gets 30. Second seven. A little bit of a play action. Trying to clear the middle. And it's Harley with the catch. First down, Battle Hawks. Haley. I think I could call on him Harley. I do apologize. Franklin carries, meets a wall after two. Second eight, hungry three to go in the second quarter. And Wolfer gets lit up. That's that was Bosch. He was unblocked. Third and seventeen, somewhere where you don't want to be as a young team. Haley gets it falling down. It sets up a fourth down and seven. And I guess we're going to test the kicker. And it's been so long, I have no idea if down makes the kick go further or up goes, makes the kick go further. I know in college. He hit it. Barely, he hit it. It's a three-point game. And wow, Johnson just ran into a wall on the outside. He did not want to follow his block. Now, if your tendency to run game works well for you, you only have a three-point lead. Are you going to be aggressive in preseason? I would have to think so. Young to throw. Young. He is running around, and he's going to escape. Young first down. Cannot get out of bounds. Oh, the mobile core bags are going to kill us all year as well. Young, short, gain of two. I feel like two man under is our best defense to play when we're facing the pass because we at least have safeties back. Young, caught, Gage first down, not going down easy. They're in St. Louis territory. They've yet. There goes their first time out. They did not like what they saw there. 101. 
They're going to spread us out. Not what I was hoping for. We got we can't just sit in 4-3 when they spread us out. We got to match it. Young throws caught white on the linebacker. Second and two. We've had opportunities to get turnovers. We just have not came away with the ball. Williams was wide open. There's the speed that we don't have. A speedy receiver scrimming across the underneath. That was easy money. Easy money. Tennessee still has one timeout. They're pretty much in the red zone. It's a handoff White. White. He's going to be taken down after 10. White's going to end this first half over 100 yards. He definitely turned it up in this second quarter. Tennessee finally uses that final timeout with 10 seconds. Is it to just kick the field goal? Yes, it is. They're going to take a six-point lead to the half. But overall, I feel like we've played really, really well. They've only had one touchdown on us. And that was when they committed to running the ball. Uh-oh. More speed, he may have been gone. More speed, he may have been gone. I mean, it's one second. And it's going to be our number one receiver. Can't clearance make something in the preseason? One on one and can't get it off. That was a cornerback blitz. Perfect matchup we wanted. One on one, just cornerback blitz and walk right into it. But this was the only Tennessee touchdown, really. Tennessee had their highlights in the first half, like they should have. But I feel like we played really well as well. I don't think we just came in and got smacked around. This one, you know, that entire possession was just bad luck. But it was more Tennessee highlights because you kind of get more highlights if you're leading at the half. But we're down six. And I guess our punter is now kicking off in the second half. Oh boy. Big return. Special teams. Kickoff and punt return. Uh, it's going to be a weakness for us. Backups are in now, right? I just want to make sure. Yep, it's going to be Jeremy Sidney to uh, play the entire second half. And now we have to find a way to stop CJ2K down by six. That's easier said than done. It's not 2K to begin. It is incomplete. We only have one pass to function in that entire first half. That, okay, that, that's a little sad. I don't know if, how many we're going to get in the uh, regular season. But, you know, that, that's, that's a little sad. I feel like we should have deflected more passes. Second 10. If it was me, I would be letting CJ2K feast. Oh boy. I. Why did I open my mouth? No! <laughs> Gosh. They spread us out. 
and they hand you out the CJ2K. I was like, oh yeah, they're just gonna pass. Why not my CJ2K piece? I asked for it. I got it. First and ten, Tennessee. And that is incomplete. Collins. For sure, Collins would be our best quarterback. Second and Here is a play action and pick the ball. Perfect position. We also should have had a sack. Can't have two. Gotta get one. We get none. Third and ten. I was more worried about the ball going to CJ2K as the defender there. And not the way picking and take it to the house. This should be an easy nine point game for Tennessee. It's going to be the biggest lead for either team. It's easy money. But we, now we're down technically two possessions. Got to answer. Got to keep the pressure on Colin. Preseason wins don't really matter when it comes to free agency, but it's the moral victories that we're really looking for. And now it's Sykes. Gonna be the running back. He'll get the carry. Sykes, cut it field. Gets a yard. Second down and nine. Pressure comes. And if our starting offensive line couldn't block a lot better than our backups, because they did, I'm not sure how we're going to do anything with our backups. Third and 19. Pressure's gonna come. That's a terrible pass. I mean, I knew the, I get the pressure was coming, but you gotta make, your receiver wins the route. Gotta give him the ball to catch. Again, I get the AI was being aggressive. They got the backup quarterback, a CJ2K with a huge return. <sighs> Only the second punt for Joyner, and he's not delivered good punts. I'm not sure if I want to play a second game with the backups. I think we're just going to do this game if that's how uh, our backup quarterback is going to be. In the backup offensive line. Collins caught Davis. This game could be getting out of hand quickly. Again, I don't understand the logic of why they won't let CJ2K feast, but you know, Collins needs his highlights, I guess. for it. I get it. Johnson, touchdown Titans. Our backups can never see the field in a row game. Our 
Our backups can never see the field in the in the real game. They just can't. Full start offense. Somehow we we're even worse. They're going for two to make it twenty seven to ten. And Johnson's not going to get it. We need to play our game. Cannot play Tennessee's game. Got to play smart. We gotta go back to what was working. That was really the run. We had better times running the ball. Just can Sykes run the ball? No. I mean, we didn't give Frank Franklin the best running room in the first half, but he was able to find or make a lane, I don't think Sykes is going to be able to do what Franklin can't. This time he does get a good lane, third down and six. How am I playing with again? Jeremy Sidney should not even make the team. He is too happy footed. Don't we have two left guards here? Can Potter play right tackle? Or is he playing left guard? Or right guard? Uh, he's not playing either. Can he play right tackle? So when we get the ball back down by 30 plus. First half, really well with the starters. Third quarter, really bad with the backups. I mean, I don't really think I expected much with the backups coming in. I said we were going to have to find a way to protect or stay in this game, and backups kind of gave it away. As soon as they saw the field, they shit their pants. Oh, first down. We got no speed to tackle a damn fullback. Go make the damn tackle. Stop being a scared little pansy. Oh, 
I think I'll give the backup one more possession offensively. I don't want to play the entire second half of a sucky second half team or backup team. And it's not that I'm getting mad. I'm nowhere close to getting mad or wanting to quit. Preseason, it doesn't really matter. I was happy with what I saw at the starter. And I. Yeah. I don't think we really need. Like I said, we're going to do one more possession offensively, but we're not going to do this entire second half. I don't think we really need to see much. More Tennessee just putting this game to bed. But we're seeing... Incomplete. But it's going to make it 28 to 10. If I can hold on to the ball in the third quarter, I'll be happy. And then I will play the fourth quarter. But if I can't, we're not doing the rest of this game. He missed it. The field goal attempt is no good. Wow. I don't think we can throw with Jeremy at all. He's not got an arm. Jeremy can't throw. Sykes is going to have to find a way to run. He's going to have to find a way to run. Those are two back to back nice carries. Those are not bad carries there. Third down and five. If Jeremy's going to throw, it has to be underneath because he can't throw deep. Walter is in motion. Gets it. First down and more. Walters. There's a little glimpse of speed. First and ten. Caught again, first down. The Battle Hawks could be shown a little bit of heart. The backup. Sykes runs into a wall of one. Second ten. Oh, catch the ball. Shelton drops it. Third and ten. Need a little bit more. Yardage here. Walters is going to motion again. Gets it. Walters first down. 
They're water. So Waters has speed. Gotta throw the ball up. And the linebacker turned around. Gotta put the ball in the air, Jeremy. Sykes gets blasted. Third down and 11. Incomplete. Can Sellers add on three? He does. 25-13. We got a touchdown there. I would have considered it. We definitely had a better uh Did anyone get hurt for their okay. No one's gonna miss their uh rest of the game. Our special teams is gonna have to get better. That's the that's a glaring weakness. Our special teams is gonna have to get a lot better. But we can go ahead and end the game now. Tennessee is gonna put this one away as we will not score again unless we do I highly doubt it that last possession we did was but good it was decent 37 to 13 starters played really well and I think we could have kept this a close game. So let's go ahead and go through game stats. Chad Wolford has to be the clear starting quarterback for us. I think Wolford, if we can give him a little bit better protection, he can find receivers consistently better. Uh, Jeremy just does not have the arm. And as you see, once we stopped playing, he threw two more picks. Franklin has to be the uh, running back. Sykes, he's just going to have to put it into practice. Waters, I think we need to try to find a way to put him in the starting offense with his speed because we don't have a lot of speed there. Haley, solid. Clarence, gonna be solid I feel. Uh, Parrish I think is gonna be a nice number three. We didn't, I guess Brown only had one catch so. And defensively, I think we did the best we could to contain White in the first half. The 
just telling me I need to lower the difficulty. I'll stay on all pro. Thank you. I'm not saying we're going to be in every game that we uh, play in. And but we're going to be I kind of think we can find a way to be in a lot of them. It's just about playing four quarters with the starters and not getting any big time injuries in them. But I don't think we need to do another game. As I actually wanted to do training, but I guess I messed it up. So did we win a single Chiefs win 35 to nothing, Ravens 40 to nothing, and then Chargers 33. So simming is not gonna be the way we go. So who do we have on the schedule in year one? Oh joy, we get the Philadelphia Eagles in week one. That's exactly the opponent I was looking for. And then we get the Giants. Hooray! And Seattle. Then we get Buffalo with Marshawn Lynch. Washington. Dallas. New England, oh joy, I can't wait for that one. Arizona, New York, San Fran, Chicago, Miami, that could be a game we could steal. Arizona, Seattle, San Fran, who do we, Atlanta. We don't have a very favorable schedule in year one. Not at all. So, if I had to guess the blowouts, uh, Eagles, because I believe they had the Sean Jackson and the Sean McCoy at this point. Uh, the Giants should beat us, because this is prime Eli. This is Ahmad Bradshaw, Jeremy Shockey. Seattle, they're not an elite team, but they should still be able to beat us. Buffalo, they're not an elite team, but they have Marshawn Lynch. Washington, who do they have this time? Jason Campbell? Clinton Porter? Uh, Dallas, if they don't blow us out, that will be shocking with Tony Romo. Oh man, who was the Dallas' running back back then? Is this Felix Jones? One thing's for sure, Tom Brady. Yep. That's not going to be a fun matchup. So let's go through... First and foremost, did we get hurt simming? Oh, son of a. Yep. Leroy Williams is going to miss the first two weeks of the season. Can I see his overall from right here? Can I see our starter? And Sleepy Mason, man, my center got hurt. Were any of those our starters? First and foremost. Williams was, but he does not have a season long injury. Our corner is also hurt. And Philip. Renick 
It's going to miss the first game against Philly, which lowers our odds of doing anything against Sleepy Mason. Uh, yeah, I guess he's got to go to the injured report for now. That frees up a roster spot. So Sleepy Mason will not play this year. So let's go ahead and, as much as I would love Spikes on the team, he's not gonna get a shot. Bernard Morris. So we, even if our quarterback got hurt, I guess we would have to settle for someone like Bernard Morris. Who is the Lotus? Derek Staley? Stanley? My bad. Please tell me he was a 64 overall. Either way, we need a center. Thank God, Madden Gods. Thank the Madden Gods we can take them. So Dustin Fry, 24 years old. He's going to be our center this year, but is he any good at well, he can run block and he's not bad. It's not a seven year contract. So Dustin Fry. Who else is available? Not that we can sign anyone else. Andre Coleman. Chris Griffin. Whoa, is that Wesley Woodyard? Wow, that is. Man, I would so... Why couldn't have one of our linebackers gotten hurt? But what it mattered, because he's a damn 65 overall. Unless we can find a way to get two wins. Corey Graham. Oh. You can. Oh, how I would love a Marcus Griffin. How I would love a Kevin Payne. How I would love a Nick Novak. Oh, man. Oh. Let's go ahead and set the uh, lineups. And I guess Potter won the job at left tack or right tackle. I think it was start starting out there the entire time. And I just didn't pay attention to it. But I'll take it. Um Yeah, 
Yeah, Walters, that's four. We just... Have to try to find a way to use the speed. Darren McKenzie is our kick returner. And I think I'm going to make the decision to keep Renek out of this first game because I can't afford him getting hurt for the season. That's going to put McKenzie as the number three corner. Williams is going to miss this first game, so it's Clay Simmons. Oh boy. But, like I said, okay. So we're going to go ahead and look at the scouting class right now. This is going to be an over an hour long video, and that's fine. The biggest need has got to be building this defensive line. It has to be. So Reggie Brown, defensive tackle, Florida State. Looks like he runs a 4-7 and then a 4-4. Four, four. That scouting report, report is kind of up and down on Reggie Brown. But we'll see if we can't learn anything new on him. So we can scout 10. I think we have to focus. Here are my needs. For the first year's draft when we get to it. If we can't get it any free agents we have to try to walk away with two defense two defensive tackle at least one linebacker one defensive back so that's four picks right, right there our quarterback in the late round and maybe a running back and a receiver as well. So that would be seven picks. If we can't land two DTs, two linebackers maybe. Um... But I feel like we gotta go defense at least in the first two to three rounds. So we're gonna look at defense attack on linebacker early in this draft. So Anquan Combs, this is right now his scouting report. And once I end this, I'm also going to go write these down. So he's a little injury prone. So 
so uh, maybe not I don't know if it's worth maybe scouting a Quan Combs let's go to Ghost then another injury for a uh, defensive tackle So ghost in stock may be dropping, but we, get, we I think we gotta take a look at him. I think that was a little bit more of a promising scouting report than Combs. Kendall Little Lippman from Ohio State. We're going to add to the board. And then uh, William Lyon. So that's four. We take a look at one more. Marquis Marquis McCollum. Another injury player but definitely has a good potential. So there's five defensive tackles we're taking a look at right there. Then we'll probably take a look at the bottom four at some point this year. So we have five spots remaining. We're going to go right to the middle. And I think we're going to start from the bottom and work our way up. Fred Spikes from UCF. 4-6 for now. And this is also his scouting report for now. And these can change during the week, during the week we have him scouted. I think I like what I see from Spikes and that report. Ralph Schofield. So he's good at tackling, he's not super strong, he's 5'11", 237, he does not come off of injuries well, so I think we're skip out on Schofield for now. I think, I think we can come back to Schofield at some point. Jamie Russell. And 
because that last scouting board is going to be off the screen and I can't scroll down. Jamie Russell is someone we have to take a look at. Absolutely. Barry Nostrum, Barry Storm, that last scouting the poor is off the page. I think we have to come back to Barry at some point down the road. Not worth taking a look at right now. Andrew Moore from Indiana. Definitely someone worth taking a look at. Wayne McMillan. I think he's a, at least something to look at. Have one more spot. Is it middle linebacker? Irving Whitman. Another Whitman in the draft. And it's definitely worth taking a look at. So right now, five defensive tackles, five middle linebackers are who we are going to be taking a uh, look at when it comes to starting the year. Uh, what's Thursday? Oh, Thursday, Washington and the Giants. Who y'all got? It is the Redskins. So when we take the Giants on in week two, they'll be looking for their first win of the year. Oh, Antoine Randall. Oh, crap. Uh, that's going to be bad. We are going to, however, end on some training for this week because I wanted to do it in preseason, but apparently I simmed the wrong way. Uh, so, defensively, who... Why not cross in it? Now let's go Pittman again. We really want to make Pittman a better linebacker. Uh, I want Wolford to get an upgrade here. And I feel like we need to go Parrish as well. Uh, 
Let's work on Parrish's hands a little bit. So we're going to end with some drills, everybody. As this is a long video, but all my videos are long. And that's how they're going to be. I might drop the game time, by the way, from 10 to 8. I feel like 10 minutes might be a little bit too long. And these older Madden games. So we are going to start as the receiver. Parrish, oh boy! Ah, oh, that was on me. Oh, you threw the ball way late. I didn't think you were going to throw the ball there. Uh oh. Hey, there we go. Good coverage. Oh no, where are you throwing the ball? That's on me. Again, you're throwing, you're throwing the ball way too late there. Hey, touchdown. I'll take another one. Thank you. God, God, lead your man outside. We definitely had him beat more than we should have. Quarterback challenge. Oh, good play by the linebacker. Oh, Warford, what are you doing, buddy? Right, same spot. Warford, come on. Now that I bring the blitz, he's Jake, or yeah, he's just not going to get an upgrade this time. Touchdown helps. Too little, too late. And that was Pitts. I taught the clearance and caught, but too little, too late. That was where ugly passes the beginning. Touchdown. Wow. We are not off to a good start. As Franklin cut it back inside. Oh, there you go, Pittman. Just get that ankle. And that's a good move by Franklin. We took on the line, or fullback. Franklin again makes a great cutback. Did I put this on all Madden or no, mistake? Now we can't even get him. Gonna be one more for Pittman. And he does get him to clean it. Finally ended. 
They won't crit him though. And of course they want to end on the CPU tackle. I doubt we got a single upgrade. The first challenge we did really well with, with Parrish. We were just two away. Two away, that's a bummer. That's a bummer. Yeah. Yep, Wolford did not do well to begin this challenge. He ended well, did not begin well. And Pittman, yeah. Shown highlights, but just does not do well. But I think that's a successful uh, hour long plus video. Uh, we had played very well in the first half against Tennessee. Backups came in and everything changed after that. But yeah. I'm ready to get on the field with the St. Louis Battle Hogs. We already had to replace one player to, due to injury. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be a long year. Maybe we can surprise some teams. I highly doubt it's going to be the Eagles, but we're going to go out on the field and we're going to show them the St. Louis Battle Hog pride. Let's go, everybody. Come on.